supported Obama, but we did not become Democrats. <laughs> Obama said, it is time to remake America. We agree, and we're proud of the fact that it was our remaking of the independent movement that made that possible. Let's take a minute to break the election results down to the simplest terms. Independent voters in the 33 states with open primaries or caucuses, contests where independents could cast ballots, clinched the Democratic Party nomination for Obama. In the general election, independents chose Obama by the largest margin since the contemporary independent movement began. All told, 65% of independents in the 33 open primary, open caucus states chose to vote in the Democratic contests. Of those, 60%, 2.7 million independents voted for Obama. In fact, if not for open primaries and caucuses which allowed independents to express our preference, Hillary Clinton would have won the Democratic nomination by 373,910 votes. Independence gave Barack Obama his margin of victory, making him the first Democratic Party presidential candidate in history to clinch the nomination with the support of an outsider movement. But just having open primaries wouldn't have been enough. There had to have been a a shift, a political shift in the movement. And that takes us to the history of how the movement went left because we were willing to go right. <laughs>